Welcome to Four Bears Had a Dream, where we give you all the Rangers football news from Ibrox Stadium. Chris Boyd highlights Alfredo Morlos as Rangers players celebrate outside Ibrox. But before we get into that, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Four Bears Had a Dream to ensure you don't miss out on the latest Rangers news. With that being said, let's get into it. Chris Boyd highlights Alfredo Morlos as Rangers players celebrate outside Ibrox. The Rangers players got to celebrate number 55 over the weekend after they beat St. Murren 3-0 and Celtic could only draw 0-0 with Dundee United. It means Rangers go to Parkhead for their next match as champions and it sparked wild celebrations among fans and player at Ibrox. Chris Boyd was on Sky Sports this morning, the football show, Monday. Tenormand as the broadcaster played footage of the players celebrating, he picked out Alfredo Morlos for special mention. The star players have performed consistently over a period of time and that's exactly what you need to win the title, Boyd said. You look at the players they're celebrating, they're enjoying it, especially Alfredo Morlos there in the middle, Boyd added laughing. He's come in for a lot of stick but he's had the last laugh and his performances recently have been excellent. Morlos has tested the Jers fans at times over his time in Scotland but he really turned a corner this season and pushed on massively. Morlos has always been a striker capable of delivering massive returns. But, this season, he's curbed the worst side of his temperament and added a new dimension to his game. He's been targeted by opposition fans, pundits and referees, most recently when he was booked for diving when he should have had a clear-cut penalty. Despite this agenda, Morlos has been a standout performer again and he'll go down in the club as a huge part of our recent return to dominance. Now, the players have to try and refocus and go again for the Europa League. That won't be easy after such an outpouring of joy and relief, but if anyone can get the players focused, it's Jared. Jared has even more good news for Ranger S fans. What a week it's been for Rangers. The Jers clinched a first Premiership title since 2011 last weekend, sparking huge celebrations among fans outside Ibrox. But the Rangers players can't have gone too wild with the celebrations because their Europa League campaign continues tomorrow. Steven Jared's side are away to Slavia Prague in the first leg of a last 16 clash. And the Light Blues boss has delivered even more good news for fans of the Scottish champions. Rangers attacker Kemmer Roof has been sidelined since February 18 due to injury. But Jared has confirmed that their summer signing is available to return against the Czech outfit. He said to the Scottish Sun, Roof will train this morning and will be available. Roof's been a very decent signing since joining the Jers from Anderlecht last summer. So far, the former Leeds United striker has 12 goals in 25 games for Rangers across all competitions, including two in five European outings, and his is a very welcome return. Ryan Jack ruled out of Rangers Europa League showdown with Slovia Praga. Steven Gerrard gives Kemmer Roof update. Jack is a key figure in the Ibrox engine room but has missed the last three games after picking up an injury against Dundee United last month. Rangers boss Steven Gerrard has ruled out Ryan Jack for their Europa League showdown with Slovia Prague on Thursday night. The midfielder is a key figure in the Ibrox engine room but has missed the last three games after picking up an injury against Dundee United last month. Jared says Jack's condition is improving and admitted he could have been ready for Thursday's showdown, but he has decided to keep him for the second leg fixture at Ibrox. There's better news for the manager on the injury front with the return of Kemmer Roof after the forward went down against Royal Antwerp in their first leg win but captain James Tavernier remains out. Jared said, it was an extremely strong performance at the weekend, the players are in a good place in terms of form and I want us to go in with confidence. We have respect as we know this is a difficult opposition, it is a really fascinating fixture. Jack could be ready but I have decided to hold back and he will be available for the second leg, I don't want to push him too quick. Tavernier will be a little bit slow to return. I think the weekend has given us the hunger for success and the players will want more. It will be really interesting to see what level of performance we go and deliver. It is a game we are all looking forward to.
Slovia Prague in the last round were extremely strong against a good team and coach. Instantly, it made us aware of the size of the challenge against a team playing extremely well. We know we have to be at our maximum to get the job done. More signing S for Gerard with Jers set for 20 million funding boost. Rangers will be quids in this summer, money from UFA from the Europa League run plus the added bonus of being Scottish champions. With Celtic needing a route to branch rebuild next season, it is a great opportunity for Steven Gerrard to lay down some serious foundations that could see us pull even further ahead over the next few years, if we get it right. Speaking to Football Insider, Noel Wellen believes that the gaffer won't rest on his laurels and will go all out to stamp their authority. Jared won't want to get rid of the core of the squad but keep them together and add to the core of the squad. They're going to want to be more of a force. They want to try and retain the title which is going to be difficult in itself. Celtic are going to react to this after the embarrassing season they've had. There'll be a change of manager, players coming in. There'll be a change and shift in attitude that the manager brings that might reignite some of the older players that have been there longer than most. Rangers will go out and progress. They won't just sit on it and enjoy it. They're going to want to retain it. Expect more signings in the summer with the money that is going to be generated. Having an extra PS20 million in the coffers will go a long way to helping Jared achieve his targets and although one or two players may be sold to help fill the COVID-19 sized financial hole, Plans will already be in place to make sure that there is no drop in quality available to the manager, the single biggest reason why we are where we are today. Securing players on new contracts and replacing those that go with ones of equal standing will be key in not only maintaining success, but pushing us onto the next level. We have shown that we can compete in the Europa League but the Champions League is the next level, and one that we must aspire to reaching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to help us grow and hit that notification bell to be sure you don't miss a video. And remember, we are the people.